You're looking at a Livermore resident taping up a sign announcing that there will be a garage sale at her house very soon. She goes through great pains to make sure the sign is secured. Here are signs of yet another yard sale. This one points me to the sale that, well, according to the sign, is today. In fact, there are literally dozens of these signs, and guess what? There was a yard sale, and it was today. Go figure. You gonna put me on the news too, huh? This is the owner's second yard sale in the last three months. Don't put me on TV. However, take a look at this sign. Either it's for 2014, or I missed it. I'm going to go with, I missed it. It's interesting that people will go through great pains to post a million signs, but once the sale is over, the sign remains. Most cities have ordinances regarding sign postings. Livermore is no different. One rule, all temporary signs must be removed within 24 hours after the close of the sale, or it could be declared a public nuisance. The same applies to temporary business signs, like this one posted on a pole that offers eyebrow threading and armpit threading. Really? Most towns have fines. In Livermore, the first violation is $100, the second is $200, and after that it hits $500. You know, it's not hard to figure out who to give the bill to because most of these signs have the address on them. Livermore users volunteers to clean up the mess, but just so you know, it is a form of littering, and it makes the neighborhood look bad. It's just like those political signs that are supposed to be down after the election. Thank goodness I didn't find any of those. Oh wait, I did. This Al Phillips political sign. Ironically, on Stanley Boulevard. Maybe it's a sign. In Livermore, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.